In this video, we're going to be comparing the cameras on the Galaxy A54 versus the iPhone 14 Pro. I know this is not supposed to be a fair comparison, but just to let you guys see how a $450 phone compares to a $1,000 phone. Most phones nowadays, even budget phones, do pretty good during daylight with their ultra wide and wide. For colors, that's going to be personal preference. HDR is definitely going to be better or consistently better on iPhone. But there are some times where the Galaxy A54 does do better. The Galaxy A54 doesn't have a telephoto lens, so of course when you're zooming in, the iPhone's gonna give you better results. The 2x and 3x range are still pretty good, it's just when you're doing max zoom, the Galaxy A54 is definitely not gonna cut it. As you can see, shooting a video on the ultra wide, it seems like there's not much stabilization going on with the Galaxy A54, whereas putting it side by side with the iPhone 14 Pro, it looks like it's on a gimbal. And even switching to the wide lens, which does better, but still not gonna be as good as the iPhone. Now taking pictures of food, I am leaning towards the Galaxy just because of the colors. And like I said before, that is personal preference, but I do like how contrasty it is, it's still vibrant, and the colors seems like it's more neutral. Mostly just seeing the white balancing seems to be more on spot than the iPhone. Like shooting indoors, the iPhone seems to lean towards the warmish side, so the food looks more orange for the most part, versus the Galaxy is cooler, and things like broccoli, the green actually pops, and it makes the food looks pretty good. And when you're outside, given that the Galaxy doesn't have as good as HDR performance, the iPhone seems to lean towards the greenish side, but doing camera comparisons with the Galaxy phones for a while, it seems like the Samsung is known to have more of the punchier and vibrant looks, whereas on iPhone is more on the flatter side. Shooting low light, it's obvious the iPhone is still going to perform better, especially with the camera performance given with my experience with the last camera comparison with the Galaxy A54 versus the Pixel 6a, it is very sluggish and I wouldn't recommend it if you're going out to bars or taking pictures with your friends like at a concert or something just because it's too dark and it's too slow. Portrait mode, the Galaxy only have one option shooting 1x, whereas on iPhone you get 1x, 2x, and 3x. The 2x is nice to use indoors and outdoors, I would recommend using 3x for outdoors just because you need a lot of space. And looking at these pictures, the highlight roll off of my skin does look nicer and smoother on an iPhone, whereas on a Galaxy it's really hot and looks like I have more of a shiny oily spot. When you're using the Instagram camera app, shooting in the light is pretty hard with a Galaxy A54 because you have to be super still. But looking at these pictures side by side, these are probably the closest to each other from this whole comparison. The iPhone may be a little bit brighter, but overall, they both look pretty good, given that if you do have really stable hands with the Galaxy. So overall, it's obvious the iPhone is going to win in terms of the camera aspect, and the only thing I really like about the A54 is the colors. Shooting during the daylight is pretty solid performance, but once you hit indoors or it's nighttime, it goes pretty downhill fast. For the ones that really like to shoot video in terms of the vlogging style or running gun, the stabilization might be a turn off for you. But as a general phone for $450 is not that bad. And if you want to see how it compares to the Pixel 6a, which is also another budget phone, I'll put the link up right here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.